By the way, this is basically the final gameplay mission. Kind of has become a trend over the last decade, hasn't it? A giant beam going up into the sky. How many movies have you seen recently over the past decade that have featured that? Gosh, it's right next to me. We're taking heavy fire from the second story. Request assistance. We'll try to clear the building. Foxtrot and Bravo are taking heavy fire. on it. Look at that, we have Rachni forces helping! That's something else that was added in this mod. is okay. Someone decided to get this one as well. Apparently I had a fan. Mom, Dad, I can't reach you guys. I tried the office and your personal comms. No one's answering. 
and the news was saying that the bombings are getting worse. And then the power went off. Look, I know I'm supposed to stay put, but I can't reach anyone, and I'm getting really worried about the twins. I'm going to head off to the school to pick them up, okay? I'll bring any other of the kids I find, too. You can yell at me when we meet up at the emergency shelters. Love, Kay. Garrison, Ashley, go. Guys, where'd you go? They're stuck back there. Hey! Oi! Actually, I shouldn't say that. I'm not Australian, but so. They're stuck there. Oh my gosh. Well, hopefully the game is gonna fix that. Because otherwise I'm basically having to do this all by myself. Maybe if I reload an, an autosave. Maybe that'll fix it. Let's reload that autosave that just happened. Let's see if that fixes the fact that Ashley and Garrus are not with me at the moment. There they are! Alright, so it looks like any issues you run into, like a bug or something, just reload a save and it should be fine. Was a little concerned there, but uh Destroyer just took out half our company. Firing remaining missiles. Any effect?
Security memo. They're targeting shelters, evacuation shuttles, emergency services, power centers, people. It's not about destroying property as much as it's about destroying the population. We've got to modify standard evac plans. We can't rely on conventional procedures. We'll just get more people killed. Stay in small groups, get survivors out of the city, spread people out as much as possible. Pass the word, people. Without those missiles, we've got no chance. been wiped out. Commander, do you read me? Major, what's the situation? The beam's interfering with missile guidance. We can hit the destroyer, but we'll never make the precision strike we need to take it out. Damn it. Edie, can you read me? Yes, Commander. Any suggestions? I may be able to use the Normandy systems to enhance the missile's targeting capabilities. Excellent. I'll need you to open a link to the Normandy from the missile systems. On it.
Hang in there, soldier. Heads up, we got more incoming. Damn, we better cover our left flank. Understood. Just as a reminder, this is usually the segment where if you sided with Morant instead of Samara, Morant shows up as one of those banshees. Just a little reminder.
Nice work, Hitty. Shepard, we're on our way to your location. Roger that. Shepard, over here. Thank God you made it. It didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several Sovereign Class Reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger? It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. Here on in, it's a straight shot to the beam. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. Only a handful, huh? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. Nobody does it alone. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. Shit. Now, forgive me. I'm going to share something with you guys about this moment right here. I remember, remember, this is, we're approaching at the 10 year anniversary of when this game came out. I remember distinctly this moment right here because I remember after that big mission that we had there with the missile launchers and everything, I remember thinking, oh man, you know, that felt like such a, you know, a gauntlet and such you know that was rough that was uh, some pretty intense gameplay there and keep in mind i'm playing on like n like casual difficulty imagine what that mission is like on insanity anyways we get to this moment right here we get out we see the beam and then i see harbinger right there right next to it basically telling us you want to get that beam get to this beam you have to go through me and i thought my mind was thinking, oh my gosh, are we about to have some amazing epic final boss battle against Harbinger? Because it would make complete and total sense, right? Harbinger, the original Reaper, who was the main antagonist throughout Mass Effect 2 because he was controlling the Collectors. 
and taunting us throughout the time we were interacting with them. Any time we were fighting the collectors and he would take control of one of them, he would just keep, you know, verbally uh, taunting us, uh, especially during the suicide mission where he just kept constantly um, harassing <laughs> Shepard, basically, about how their, you know, our attempts were futile. This is, you know, you are pathetic. You have no chance and all these different things. And he was the one who, of course, talked to us at the end of Arrival. Um telling us that we had we were just fighting inevitability i thought it made perfect sense especially after we got confirmation from the leviathan actually this was before leviathan came out but never mind um i thought it made perfect sense that the final reaper boss that we face in this game in this series is harbinger and I was expecting this big, final, epic boss battle. Because usually that's how it is, right? In video games, you have some amazing, big, epic, final boss. Like, think Dragon Age Origins. We have a big, final, epic boss battle against the Arch Demon, right? And that's kind of what I was expecting. Not necessarily in terms of the same type of fight, but you guys get what I mean. This, you know, you just can't help but feel and expect that you're going to get this big, final, epic boss battle against what has been played up and set up as one of the big uh, main villains of the story. That's obviously not what we got. I just wanted to share that, that that was my thought at this moment, before I start to make this run down the stretch here, and we got the actual, the actual ending, the actual finale, that was what I was expecting. That's not what I got. But I will say, they do show that Harbinger is very powerful here. Look at the number of Geth that are running through here. I also saw that when they were showcasing this mod that they were going to have, um, later on, they're going to be adding, like, some Elcor, armored up Elcor running through here as well. But we're running to the beam here, just like, you know, trying to make this big final run here. And Harbinger is... Look at, look at that! Him showing why he is so powerful. Don't argue, Garrus. We're in this to the end. No matter what happens here, you know I love you. I always will. Shepard, I... love you too. First time I saw that, I almost thought Harbinger was going to shoot down the Normandy.
that's when basically everyone thought, okay, now we have a fake ending here. This is where more of the indoctrination theory stuff comes into play here. Notice how Shepard's armor is just completely ruined here. The controls, like, were barely moving. I can barely aim. This moment here was made very, very famous. And it was mainly because of one enemy coming up here who is very, very infamous and became one of the greatest memes ever. There he is! Marauder Shields! For some reason, I was missing very, very badly. I have no idea why. No idea why I was missing there. It's too much. We need to regroup. Fall back to the buildings. That seemed off. You guys saw that I was literally aiming at his head. And, but yeah. People have made a cut there that Marauder Shields kill Shepard. And that's it. That's the ending. I cannot tell you how much of a joke meme that became <laughs> in recent time, you know, uh, very, very recently after this game came out. Marauder Shields became kind of a, uh, how do I say this? An incredibly well-known character <laughs> just for people having the idea of he's the one that puts this uh, ending out of it happening. Also, we have moving pus corpses. I feel like this sequence right here is getting a little weird. Maybe having some buggy issues here. But then again, you can see with the way the the screen is, this is supposed to be a very strange sequence. There we go. Okay. The ragdolls here. up here too I followed you up 
But we didn't come out in the same place. No. At least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like death, but I'm moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. Uh, makes sense. You think they're making a Reaper in here? <laughs> sure. They round them up on Earth. And the people appear to be processed. God damn abomination. I'm gonna keep moving. The sooner we blow these bastards back to hell, the better. The tubes don't go on forever. But where the hell are we? Yeah. Doesn't look like any part of the citadel I've been to. I remember being intensely creeped out by this segment here because, once again, it's, like she said, it's kind of like how it was on the collector ship with just the the body parts and such just kind of tossed to the side and discarded. Uh, I should also comment, yes, this is also another thing that people would comment on, I remember, about the adding to the theory of the indoctrination theory of uh, how Anderson somehow ended up here. We never saw him make it here, and they said everyone got, you know, the whole group got decimated, so how did Anderson make it here when he's like, oh, I followed you up? When? How? You know? Um, it's It just seemed very odd, which is why people started thinking, oh, this is part of the hallucination of the indoctrination and all that, you know. Like, I, like I've said before, I may not... You know, I will admit there are pieces to that that make sense, but I've just never been a f you know a big supporter or fan of that theory. So when we return, the finale of Mass Effect Three. Now, just remember, we're using. We're not going to be getting the usual ending uh, that we that you would get normally. We are going to be seeing Automus's happy ending mod. So stay tuned for that.